Hello, Comet Chasers. Comet C-2023A3 Tsuchinsen Atlas has emerged from the glare of the sun, and observations from the southern hemisphere have begun. On the morning of September 17th, Australian observer Chris Wyatt spotted it using 15 by 70 binoculars. He reported a magnitude of 4.5 and a coma with a diameter of three arc minutes, matching our predictions. He also noted a faint tail approximately 18 arc minutes long. Fellow Australian Michael Mattiazzo captured this image of the comet on the same morning. In this video, we will update our predictions for Southern Hemisphere observers. The comet is now visible in the morning sky and will transition to the evening sky by the end of the month. We'll provide the best information to help you determine when and how to observe this comet yourself. Greg has updated his comet visibility model to include a factor that accounts for the brightness surge due to the phase angle of a dusty comet. The model now predicts that this comet will reach a significantly brighter magnitude. Greg's model currently does not predict that it will be a daytime naked eye object because it will be too close to the sun. Therefore, unless the comet brightens dramatically, be cautious of any predictions about daylight naked eye visibility. C2023A3 is currently visible in binoculars around 5 to 5.15 a.m. and will brighten each morning, making it easier to spot. By the morning of the 21st, it should be apparent in a standard pair of 7 by 50 binoculars. The optimal viewing time is before sunrise, while the sky is still dark. Look low toward the eastern horizon, slightly to the right of east. At its best, it will be around 10 degrees above the horizon, so ensure you have an unobstructed view. Use your binoculars to scan for a star-like object that appears fuzzy or like a smudge of light. As the morning progresses, the comet will rise higher, offering a better view. If you don't see it initially, be patient. As it rises, the sky will also brighten. When we mention visibility around 5 a.m., it's the optimal time when the comet is high enough to see but not overwhelmed by the brightening sky. Exact times will vary depending on your location within your time zone and latitude. This might be a good time to remind you that Greg's company, Skyhound, offers software for Windows that can make these predictions tailored to your exact circumstances. While other software can guide you on where to look, it can't pinpoint the best morning or time for observation. For most observers, we suggest the Sky Tools Visual Standard Edition. The comet will be in nearly the same spot in the sky each morning through the 26th, gradually brightening daily. We recommend going out every morning to observe it. Greg's model currently predicts that the comet will be perceptible to the naked eye from September 28th through October 4th, and again from October 13th to the 18th. Remember, this means it might require some searching, and inexperienced observers may have difficulty spotting it. It's possible that an event could produce additional dust, potentially making the comet brighter. We're not expecting this, but there's always a chance you might come out one morning and be among the first to notice a significant brightening. If that happens, it might even become plainly visible to the unaided eye. This is why we go out and look, folks. It's part of what makes comet chasing fun. Even though Greg's predictions are usually spot on, you never know until you go look for yourself. After the morning of the 26th, the comet will brighten more rapidly, but will also move closer to the sun, which is why it's brightening more quickly. It will appear significantly lower in the sky each day until we reach the morning of the 4th, when it will technically be at its brightest during the best visibility period, but it will also be very low on the horizon. We recommend that you go out every morning during the peak visibility period. After all, there may be mornings when there are clouds, or perhaps interesting things happening with the comet itself. So, don't wait until the very last morning when it's supposed to be at its brightest. You may also find that it's too low in the sky for you to see at that time. As the comet swings around the sun, it will emerge on the other side, appearing in the evening skies. It will first be visible in 7x50 binoculars around the 14th of October, and should be obvious in binoculars between the 15th and the 23rd. By then, it will be fading significantly with each passing day, 
so try to catch it in the evenings as early as you can. As of September 18th, it's difficult to say when the best viewing opportunity will be. We don't know, will it be during the morning period or will it be in the evenings? We recommend going out in the mornings, if you can, as it will technically be at its brightest near the end of the morning visibility period. However, the dust tail may not have fully developed by then. It might be better in the evenings if the dust tail develops after the comet passes the sun, as 12 P. Pons Brooks did. There's also the chance it may not develop much at all, which could make it dimmer than currently predicted. The game you're going to play in the evening begins with the comet in a bright sky. You'll need to look right after the sun sets and wait for the sky to get darker as the comet sets. So, you're playing the opposite game that we play in the morning. As the sky darkens, the comet will set. What we are looking for is the sky to get dark enough that we can see the comet well before it gets too low to see. There will be a point in between, around 8 p.m. local time, when it will be best visible. Greg currently predicts that the comet will be perceptible to the naked eye in the evenings from October 14th through October 18th. Remember, perceptible does not mean obvious. It means you will have to put in some effort to glimpse it. It's often best to start with binoculars and, once spotted, lower them to search for a fuzzy spot with your naked eyes. On October 1st, we will have another update. In the meantime, check the comments section for updates from Greg. Clear skies and good luck with your comet chasing.